Designing the projects in multi-body environment of SOLIDWORKS parts can be beneficial because this provides a richer feature set for designing the models, in particular using the structural members or sheet metal components. This, however, results in more challenges when it comes to creating a drawing for those bodies. In this video, I will demonstrate several macros which can be useful to streamline the drawing generation for multi-body parts. This model of the frame of the trailer was designed using the sheet metal components in the multi-body part environment. Those cut leads have several custom properties such as part number and quantity, which I'm going to use in the drawings. There are also some file-specific custom properties in the model itself. There are several approaches for creating the drawings from multi-body parts, and all of them have their pros and cons. For generating drawing for this part, I'm going to use an approach where I'm going to create an individual configuration for all cut leads, so I can refer that configuration in the drawing view. The drawing will contain multiple sheets, where each sheet will correspond to the individual sheet metal body. Doing this manually can be quite time-consuming, so I'm going to use the free macros from codestack.net to automate that process. For the best user experience, I'm using the free Toolbar Plus module to create an individual toolbars for all of my macros. You can use this module to configure your macro library and share this with your colleagues within your organization. I just need to click a button on my toolbar to start the process. So first macro is going to collect all of the cut list, find all of the individual bodies and create the configurations for each individual body of that cut list. Macro has an option to keep all bodies or just one body from the cut list. I have set this option to keep all bodies so we can produce the accurate bill of materials in our drawings. As a result, we have an individual configurations for all the cut list in this part document. Let's continue and create a template drawing to automate our drawing creation. I'm going to use another macro from Codestack library, which allows propagating the configurations into individual sheets. In order to run this macro, I'll just need to create a first template sheet. Macro will then copy the sheet and replace the reference configuration for all the copies. For the template drawing sheet, I'm going to drop an isometric projection of my body, because this cut list has two bodies, both of them shown in the view, so I'm just going to use my bodies view selector to just show one. Then I'm going to make a copy of the drawing view, and because this is a sheet metal component, I'm going to make a flat pattern of it. Now I'm going to change the scale of my sheet, let it be 1 to 5. I just need to make sure that all the views have the scale option set to sheet scale. So let me just select this view and select use sheet scale. Now I want to create a bill of materials in this drawing. So I need to select a drawing view. I'm going to use dissolve part level rows option and create a bomb table. So you can see it correctly renders the quantity, but title block is empty. And the reason for this behavior is all of our nodes are linked to the file level custom properties, but we are looking to bring them from the cut list custom properties. In order to solve this issue, I'm going to use another macro from Codestack library, which allows to copy in cut list custom properties to configurations. I simply need to click the button and the macro will traverse all the configurations and copy nominated custom properties to configuration from cut lists. So if we activate configuration properties right now, you can see there is part number, quantity and weight properties have been transferred from the cut list. Now we can activate the drawing and you can see that our title block is filled correctly with the custom properties from configuration. Now we can run the macro to propagate all the configurations to sheets. It will copy the first sheet as a template and will change the configuration for each drawing views. The process is complete, now let's just rebuild the model to remove the rebuild flag. As you can see, there are now several sheets created and the sheets named after the cut list name. Let's activate several sheets. And you can see all of the sheets contain the individual bodies from the cut list. We now need to just move our views into the correct position and apply other dimension and scaling. But there is just one last issue remain. All of the bomb tables still refer the same configuration after copying and they do not update to the new configuration after the view has changed. For that, we can just run another macro called update bomb table to configurations. It will just relink all of the configurations from all the drawing sheets to the correct one. So you can see now all of our bomb tables have been successfully updated. Thank you for watching this video. You can find download links to all the macros in the description.